Hello and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching or thank you for returning if you have seen some of my other videos. So today I am going to film a what's in my pencil case slash new pencil case review. I ordered a, does it say the actual brand on here? It does. Claire Fontaine age bag in black and this is the largest size they do and when I bought it it said it was 22 centimeters across and eight centimeters high now this is the large there is a medium which I could not find anywhere and there is a small as well which I think was four centimeters high and I did um and ah about which one to get and in the end I went for the largest one. Uh, it was the same price as the smallest one but I thought I like to be able to have like a good rummage around to find things and my current pencil case which is this clear one here as you can see is pretty stuffed so if I want to actually get something out I mean things are already falling out already but you do have to have a good route down the only reason that I like this pencil case, this case, sorry, as a pencil case is if I did want to get the last thing out here, I can just open it this way and go into the bottom. But I just thought I wanted something different. I did used to have a, well, what was it called? Gallon leather, Galen leather uh, pencil case. I had it in the undyed and I did really like it. But um, undyed is not my leather. I'm definitely a black girl. I love anything that's black. So I prefer this already. Um, I did actually get it off eBay. It was brand new. And I got it off eBay because I had £5 off if you spent £10. And this was £10 and 8 pence. So it only cost me a fiver. And it has got... A little label in there which I mean if I give that a good pull I'm sure that would just come off and then it just came with a bit of cardboard and a bit of something else in there but yeah it's meant to be round and there we are so first impressions it's thinner than I thought uh, definitely thinner than I thought um, and I don't like this label. It's a weird, it's like half stuck to the stitching. There we are, that's off as well. You can see the glue there. I like the feel of the inside. I like it when they leave the inside. It's kind of like raw texture. It's a bit like the back of, oh, it's got my, personal details in it but it's a bit like the back of the fly leaf in um the julio so yeah, i definitely like the inside i like the outside i like the texture of the leather i like that it has a little pull there and the zip seems let's cut this tag off because that's getting in the way See, the zip gets caught on that tag. I mean, it seems okay for five pounds. I think it's fine. But yeah, so what we're gonna do? We're gonna fill it up. I think my scissors might even fit in there. Yes, they do. I'm not sure if I want to actually keep my scissors in there, but we will fill it up, and I'll do a little what's in my pen case as I'm going through. So first things first, we will start with the bits I have to keep in my. Delphonics, couldn't remember the word then, my Delphonics because they don't fit in that pouch. So the first thing is my ruler. It's a gold, very thick, see how thick it is. Very thick ruler, it's all scratched up. I got this from Salty22, which fits in there perfectly. And then we have my Tombows, which are in nine four two i remember this one it is 
977, I think. 988, 987. I'm pretty sure it was like a 977. And then a 772, which is a pink. And they all they fit in there perfectly. So this is the reason why I wanted the large. The small, although it was only four high, I think it was 19 centimetres instead of 22. And the Tombos, I believe, are about 19 centimetres. Let's give it a quick measure. So this is an 18 centimetre ruler. Yeah, so they're just slightly more than 18. So maybe 18 and a half or 19. So I wasn't sure the Tombos would fit. So I'm glad I definitely got the larger size. Also, I keep a Tombow in there. We'll just pop that in there for now. And then my Apple Pencil can go in there. Then we have, I think what I'm gonna do is just get everything out. And we'll take off my little pin as well, because I think we could put that on there. So I'll put that one to one side. So the next thing I have, if we start with this one here, this is a Jelly Roll Sakura, and it's in the white 05. Always comes in handy to have a white pen. We're not even sure, are we? Let's do a little bit of rearranging, sorry. Uh, the next thing I have is a Tombow glue pen. And I got this in the Lauren Phelps Designs seventh anniversary box. I haven't used it yet, but it is literally just a pen that is got glue in it instead. And then you kind of dab it. So it's great for small stickers or corners that are lifting up. I have got my slice tool, which just has a thin blade on the end for slicing. And then I have got my deli glue stick pen, which is just a glue stick in a pen form. And then I have got, let's start with We'll do my mild liners. So I got these recently in a haul, which I don't think would have gone up yet. Um, it actually came on Monday, just after I filmed my Salty 22 haul. So I did do a quick video of me unboxing them, but I haven't put that video up yet. It probably got up after this. Um, but I got some mild liners from the Natural or Neutral collection. And I got the Olive the mild pink or dusty pink and then the mild beige as well they are really nice one thing i would say though is if i do a little swatch i do it on the back of this card here so this is the dusty pink to do a few there and then if I get out the Tombow that I have, which is pink, which is here. And this is the 772. They are pretty much the same colour. I don't know if you can see that. They are the same colour, I would say. That one looks a lot more shiny. It might just be because I'm doing it on card, though. So, yeah, if you do have the Tombow 772 or the Mild Liner in dusty pink, they are the same. So, yeah, so I've got those three. So, we'll put those in there. Then we have my fountain pens. So, I have got my Twisby Eco in dust no smoky gray with rose gold and in there i have got a diamine ink and i believe it is in sepia s-e-p-i-a that's what it is i will show you a little um 
test because this ink is absolutely gorgeous. I should have just swatched straight away on this, shouldn't I? So that's right. So this is the smoky grey Twisby in rose gold diamine sepia and this is in the I think this is the fine nib yeah fine nib and the thing I love about the twisbees are that they do twist the main reason I got this ink is because you can see in the barrel it's brown and I just think it looks really pretty in there but also I do like writing with brown ink brown and black are the two inks that I prefer and if I just bring this up here you can see that is a lovely ink colour and an absolutely gorgeous fountain pen but yeah just before we move on to the next one let me just show you the this is the Tombow here. And then this is the Mild Liner. Yeah. Pretty much the same. Maybe the Tombow is a little bit darker, but I have a feeling that's because I've smeared. So yeah, next one I have is a, another Twisby. This is the Mini diamond and I got this in a d-stash I was looking at um, buying this and it just happened to come up on a d-stash and I was thrilled this is in a medium nib so it is a lot thicker so this is the Twisby mini diamond in medium and I've got it in the clear barrel And then the ink I have in here is also Diamine and it's in Onyx Black. And then this one twists onto the end and then also twists close. You can see there, so those are my two fountain pens. Let's put that back over there for the moment, which I do love using you can see how much space we've still got in there this is exactly why i wanted a big pencil case so i can just stuff it then we've got we'll do miss my pens actually so i've got my sarasa dry air fit grip in 0 0.5 i just got this in my stationary pal haul as well i haven't even used it yet uh, but i like that it has a clip on there then also in my haul, which I have not shown yet, I haven't used it either, is a Energel Cleaner. These are pen Pentel, I think. And this is in a 0 0.4 nib. So yeah, I've got one of these. I have had one in the past and I think I had it in a 0 0.38. Um, and I do like a little bit of a thicker pen. So we went for the 0 0.4 mainly because I got the Sarasa in 0 0.5, so I thought I'd try something different. Then we have the uh, Unipin, which you always need if you're writing on transparent page flags. We've got my Giglio pen with a gel insert, and that just twists open there. And then we have got... Uh, this is a Parker, I believe. Yes, it is. You can see it there. Bit of fluff on it, sorry. There we are, Parker. And this is a pencil. And I like this. It has a little like arrow as the clip there. I don't know where this is from. I found this in my dad's study one day I call it study it's a bit of a dumping ground but I found it in there one day and I took ownership of that then we have got something else that's new the 
Tombow Mono Correction Tape. Not used this yet. Oh, there, there's the nib that comes off. There's the tape. Yeah, I've got one of those. Oh, it fits so perfectly in there. Then we've got just my random scissors that I do actually use. They're just a stalk and they're just good for like snipping little bits of washi. When I'm cutting proper things, I use my proper scissors. Then we've got the eraser that never ends. I've had this for years and years for university. It just never seems to run out. So still got that. And then in the Lauren Phelps Designs Advent, she gave us the Tombow Mono Eraser. So I should really put this in with my um, kind of like refills and spare pens that are like spares that I've got to replace things that are in there, but I haven't I've just shoved it in here. Then we've got the tweezers that I got in the Colour Cafe Advent Calendar. So these have got quite a sharp point on them. You can see there, they are very, they're quite sharp and they do come in handy. So I just keep hold of those. And then the other thing I'm going to put in there are the ones that I got from the Lauren Phelps Design Advent Calendar because these have got a rounded end, but they are very very thin so they're great for picking up stickers and then is there anything else to move this forward i've got another pair of tweezers cable ollie clips hmm maybe i'll put my ollie clips in there maybe i'll put one in there i know i've got one that i can pop in if i can find it let's see Maybe I've got a pink one. Oh, I could put a paper clip or two in there as well. Let's find the end of this. I've just got it on one of these little washi holders. And then let's just take two paper clips. Oh, close those. Put those back in there. This is just a small pink sparkly Ollie clip. Yes, it's pink. Uh, my friend gave me this. Actually, I tell a lie, my friend did not give me this. I had a lovely, lovely friend um, who was one of my stationary friends and she passed away and it was very unexpected, but um, her family sent uh, me and another friend um, her stationary supplies because they knew that like our little trio were all about stationary and planners. And um, in there was this Ollie clip, it was hers. So that's why I do have a pink sparkly Ollie clip. Uh, so yeah, we'll just pop that in there. There's so much space in there. And then look, when you want something, you can just have a good route around in there, which is great. And then just to, oh, I have another magnet. This is from Sesave. So the two bits just clip together and they have got like a velvet, texture on this side and I got these in the brown because at the time I was using my um, Louis and I thought that the brown would match that so on the outside let's just put my will it fit yes it will my colour cafe pin this is the white and the gold and it's gorgeous and then let's just zip that up oh that look how much space there is still that's perfect I could fit my scissors still in there. The only reason I have these scissors is mainly for cutting inserts. So I am gonna leave them in the back here in with my inserts because that's better for them. So then this pencil case now should just fit in there, which is perfect. So I'm very happy with my new pencil case. Like I say, it is thinner than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a little bit more structured um, and not as floppy. I do prefer them to be a little bit more structured, but for £5, it's completely fine. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Any questions, please leave it down below. Um, I did get this pencil case from eBay, but they are stocked on Colt pens if you are in the UK and Amazon do have them as well. If you are in a different country, if you are abroad, I'm not entirely sure where you can get them, but 
Um, like I said, Amazon in the UK stocked them, so hopefully you could find them on Amazon also. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. Any questions, please leave them down below. Thank you.